Welcome back to the PAC Sports Network at the half. Today we're joined by Javante Trujillo of the Bethany Bison men's basketball team. Thanks for being with us, first of all. No problem. And uh, you've had a terrific first half of the season so far, as well as the team. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, you know your thoughts on how the team's played to this point. You know, I think we're doing all right, but we have a lot. Like, we have way better potential, and we've got to get it done. Just got to get it done. In terms of getting it done, the Bison certainly were able to do that last year. Uh, 12 conference wins, 17 overall wins, uh, first year under coach Nick Hager. Um, you know, the momentum built last season with a strong strong year overall. Uh, do you feel like some of that has carried over into this season? Yeah, I believe so. There's a lot more fire in everybody's eyes this year. And I'm just excited to keep going. It's my last, well, it could be my last season, but yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for every game. Everybody seems ready, so just got to keep it going. And with Coach Hager coming in last year, this being his second season, but what's, what's it been like to play for him so far? I like it. It reminds me of my, uh, my old high school coach my freshman year, but just someone that believes in me. Like, I know I might not be a scorer, but I'm out there. I have my purpose, and I fulfill my purpose, so it's, it's great. Now, you're in your third year here at Bethany. You right. transferred in. Tell us about where you transferred from and why you chose Bethany. Um, so I transferred from a JUCO, a D1 JUCO back home in La Junta, Colorado, Otero. Um, I tried to walk on there, but I didn't get on the team. So I took a semester off, and then I went to a showcase in Florida where Coach Sachs, uh, uh, our prior head coach, he found me and brought me over mid-season. So I gave it a chance, and now I'm here, and Coach Hager, head coach now, so it's pretty good. Now, last season with the Bison, you really came on strong, finished third on the team in three-pointers, second in rebounding. What led to your breakout season? Just staying in the gym, just yeah, getting at it. Now, figuring that you were going to play a large role again this season, based on, of course, on how much you played last year. Uh, did you do anything different? You said staying in the gym. Did you do anything different this year, or how did you prepare for this season? Um, usually, I just take advantage of my um, where I'm from. I'm from Colorado, so I take advantage with the elevation change. Like we're about five thousand, five thousand two hundred eighty feet, a mile, a mile high. But yeah, I just take advantage of the altitude, then I come back ready, stay in the best shape I can. Really. Now you mentioned you're from Colorado. Uh, Bethany's one of those places where opposing teams really hate to come. It's so right. difficult to play in this gym, and sometimes the trip here can be intimidating with yeah. the narrow roadways. Did you ever think that you'd find yourself, you know, when you were in Colorado, find yourself uh, in the uh, panhandle of West Virginia? Not at all. I. When I heard of Bethany, the first one I thought about was Kansas, but um, you know what, I'm here, so i got to take advantage of while I'm here. And absolutely, I'm sure you've enjoyed your time here, right? Right. Now, you're a dynamic player. You can battle with the bigs. You also have a great outside shot. Um, tell us about your versatility and, and really maybe how you developed it. Um, just staying in the gym. I've always had a shot. I've always, like, I like to shoot, but I don't know, I guess it's my heart. Now, how much do you enjoy being such a versatile player? Uh, sometimes I'm sure you have to catch some uh, some opposing players off guard. Yeah, I mean it's perfect because they think like I know I have a like a skinny frame, but some of the bigs don't expect me to be as strong as I am, and I'm way quicker than a lot of people. So I just use that as a, a an advantage. And when you're working down low, you're joined alongside by Liam Davis. Right. How much fun is it to play alongside it, him? I like I like it. Give me a couple of assists, you know, post of post work. It's great. Freshman Chase Truex has had a terrific debut with the Bison right. so far. Uh, with such a talented team already, how much depth does this team have? We we're deep, we're deep for sure. And he he brings a lot. I, I like the uh, addition with True. His nickname True. <laughs> Makes sense. <Yeah. laughs> now um, you're a senior. What's your major, and what do you hope to do in the future? Uh, my my major is pre engineering at the school. I was going for an engineering degree, but we offer pre engineering. So. What I plan on doing is just getting involved with like making shoes or sports equipment. That's what the whole reason I'm in engineering. So, and your expectations for yourself and for the team the rest of the way? Just to get better every day. Take every day by day, but just getting better. That's Javante Trujillo of the Bethany Bison. Javante, thanks for your time and good I luck. Appreciate you. We'll have more coming up on the PAC Sports Network.